Hey guys. Sorry, it's been such a long time since I used this setup. I basically forgot how to do everything. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't even turn the server on when I left my house. That's how long it's been. <laughs> What's up guys? Hey Hawaiian, hey Norm, hey Toku, hey Clay, hey Boomers, hey Ruby Rose. Hey, shoe. Yeah, so before we do the stuff, I just wanted to check out to see if there's any flowers in this park. We're in Shinjuku Gyoen, like the big park next to Shinjuku. Hey Blubbo. Yeah, there's no flowers yet, but uh, I think there's some trees around here that might have some flowers. But uh, yeah, we'll just check it out real quick and then we can take a look at the bike and ride around. Yeah, it's, it's almost here, but not quite. In Tokyo, it's a little later. Hey, Argentina, what's up? Hey, Fungus. Hey, Joseph, what's up, man? Long time no see. Hey, Jim. Hey, Yuki. Hey, that's cool, Annie. So he just painted the bear tree and then he just made his own flowers. It's pretty dope. <laughs> hey, Romo. Yeah, I'm Esmeralda now. That guy on the premiere last night was kind of crazy. So, yeah, this is Shinjuku Gyoen. But as you can see, there's no flowers yet. But I think there's maybe one section in here where they have flowers. <laughs> no, you didn't miss anything, Fungus. It was just uh, some guy trying to get a hookup. That's so funny. Hey, Dark Onyx. Yes, so. Hey, Sam. Hope you're having a good day at work. Uh, breaking in and out a bit, okay. Yeah, I think uh, hopefully we can just check out what the uh, if there's any flowers, and then we can get out to the main part of the city. I think some of the some of the parts in this park are like uh, have pretty bad signal. <laughs> yeah, fungus. He was a. Uh, he was for sure trying to get all wifey. It's a bit dark. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, hold on. I have the wrong settings on. Let me fix that while we're walking. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Uh, yeah, the park has an entrance fee, but I have the yearly pass.
Yeah, sorry, I have the settings on from my other camera, so I just need to fix that real quick. But I'll do it while we're walking here. Yeah, it's a really nice day. It was supposed to be cloudy later today, but it seems fine. <laughs> see. I think that should look better now. Does that change anything? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, it's not the gimbal, I'm using the GoPro today because I'm going to be on the bike. Let me see if I can just hold it a little more steady. Yeah, it's because I'm using the GoPro, so it's just on my bag. Yeah, so let me just walk around with it, holding the GoPro for a bit. And then, uh, I think once we get on the bike, it should be better. Yeah, because I think every time you guys have seen me use this camera, uh, the GoPro, I was just uh, on the bike all the time. But uh, yeah, now it's, we're, that we're walking, it's kind of shaky, right? So. <laughs> Piggyback experience. Yeah, that's why it feels weird because it's, it's on the wide mode. Let me see. I got a turn bike. I'll show you guys in a bit. I just want to see this part of the park real quick and then uh, from there we can go to the bike. Mm, did I forget the stable part on the GoPro? Yeah, you guys are on my shoulder. Alright, let's see. No, I think it's okay. It's just, uh, I'll have to check it again later. Hey, hey Kali. Yeah, so this is the area where they usually have a lot of sakura, but as you can see, they're not bloomed yet. It's gonna be still like another month. 
but I thought maybe we could at least see some ume blossoms but uh, like plum blossoms but I don't really see any no I didn't get the trekkie bike no yeah I got the the one I got is a folding bike because I figure if I can fold it up and take it on the train I feel like that might be more fun right and I think this uh, this folding bike is a little more upright so when we're riding it should be a little better Yeah, so this area is all sakura trees, so this is probably my favorite part of the park in the springtime. Just all of these trees are sakura, so it's really really nice for that one or two weeks. I think last year it was closed though. Well, I know there is at least one ume tree in here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, you watched the Kawazu Zakura video? Yeah, it's um, actually in Japan, there are some Sakuras. Um, but it's like down south, two hours south of Tokyo. So I went there last week and uh, it's in full bloom. I think it's still in bloom now, but uh, there it's a lot warmer because it's on like a southern coast and there's a lot of sunshine. And yeah, it was a really nice day. And uh, those sakura flowers are more pink. Um, so, but yeah, in Tokyo, it's not going to bloom for maybe another three weeks or so. Oh, there's a sakura, I mean, uh, I think that's a ume tree. So let's just go see that one on the, down there. And then we'll get on the bike and we'll go. Because, yeah, I feel like walking with this is not so great. This is uh, Shinjuku Gyoen Park. Yeah, you can just search Shinjuku Gyoen. It's like about maybe $5 US to get in, maybe a little less. But it's definitely one of the biggest parks in Tokyo and it's one of the few parks that actually has real grass. So in the summertime, it's really nice. Uh, Okinawa, probably, maybe. I don't know, I've never actually looked into seeing Sakura in Okinawa before. I wonder if this is the yellow sakura that I think Ferris was talking about yesterday. Uh, let me see, let me take a picture of this. If I can get it. Ooh. Oh, that picture wasn't so great. Let me try again. Let's see. Yeah, there's these yellow flowers. I don't think these are the ones that Ferris was talking about though. Toku, you were here three years ago? Yeah, that sounds about right. That was the last time you were able to come in, right? Oh, I do know where there is one uh, set of sakura trees. It's a little bit more towards Shinjuku. But, uh... It doesn't start for another three weeks or so. <laughs> I 
I thought I saw on the news that the Washington DC cherry blossoms had already bloomed, no? I thought it was like this week or last week. Or maybe the article just had some old pictures from last year. Let's see, there's some over there. Let's see. Yeah, almost. Not quite. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> Tiffy, I feel like it's always snowing where you are, even in like weird times. I should walk like this. Now it could be FPV game. <laughs> Last week of March. Okay. Yeah, but there is a couple of trees that I saw here the last time. But uh, they should be a little more in bloom now. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like um, a photo shooter game. Okay. Sorry, we'll just check out this one more tree because. I think there is actually a Kawazu Zakura tree in here. <laughs> yeah, we need to go to the Sakura tree to get some more health. All right. Okay, I can see it from here, so. I think we should be able to see it. Yeah, so I think you can have a drink here and have a little snack on the terrace. Should be really nice in springtime, but right now I think this area is a little better. Oh, here's some. There. I'll just post this on the Instagram so you guys can see. Bing! There we go. Yes, if you guys check out the Instagram, I'll post the stories into there. <laughs> wow, this Sakura tree is like almost done already. Hey, hologram. Oh, this tree's already done. All the flowers fell off already. Yeah, this is the iPhone 12 still. Yeah, this one's already done. That's crazy. How did it bloom so early?
Let's see if we can find some that are like closer to the ground. Oh, perfect. There's some like right here, low to the ground. So there's some, but uh, definitely looks almost done. Ah, it's a bad signal. Okay, let's go to the bike. Yeah, because I remember this area didn't have such good signal last time either. Yeah, I put the snaps on the Instagram if you guys are curious. But yeah, let's go with the bike. Not so good around here. Hey, thanks a wine. Yeah, there'll be more. We don't have to check out the one or two trees. But... <laughs> no, it can't. Toku. Not as cool. Let's see, where is the bike? Okay, I think it's over there, so... Hey, thanks Dave! Let's see... Yeah, I really don't see any more flowers around here, so... Yeah, let's go to the bike, and we can take a look at it. And then we can start riding again. I feel like it's been so long since I did a bike stream. Oh, it's actually pretty warm today. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Let's see, it's like 13 degrees Celsius. So that's what, like 50, 50 degrees? 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I think next weekend should be a lot warmer. Next, this next Friday is 67 and 69. So, should be really nice next weekend. And I think that's when uh, all the Ume blossoms will start. Konnichiwa. Let's see, change this back to Celsius. Oh, 
Oh, fungus, you were, uh, you were homesick after just six months? I don't know, some, I'm, I never feel like I'm homesick that much. I, maybe I'm just used to it, but... Yeah, I think when I first lived here, maybe I felt a little homesick after the first Uh, does it get cold at night? Yeah, a little bit more than usual. That was weird. I wonder what happened. Turn off 5G. Forgot about that.
There we go, how's that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so let me unlock the bike. Okay. Yeah, so here it is, guys. Actually, let me move out of the way. We uh, go in the sun. Yeah, so this is the bike. It's a turn bike and it has like a Bosch motor. So you can see here, like it doesn't have the motors in the wheel, which is a common style. This is like the motor in the center. So uh, basically it's supposed to be better for pedaling. But yeah, it's also like a folding bike. So you can see here, this is where it folds in half. So it gets really small. And yeah, so the plan is that we can take it to other places outside of Tokyo in the train. You just need to get a little bag for it. Uh, and then, yeah. I can also put like a, a little crate here or like maybe some paneer bags. And then that way I can haul stuff around. But yeah, it's a Vectron bike. It doesn't have fenders. I think there were some add-ons, but I didn't buy the fenders. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you everybody who donated because now we have an e-bike. So now when we go up the hills and stuff, I won't be huffing and puffing, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, and the tires are wider than usual. So this is the widest tire that I could get because when you put them in some places uh, in like those metal racks, the fatter tires don't fit in there. So. I had to get this one because um, these tires are wider, but not so wide, right? But yeah, this is the bike. So I'm just going to check on a couple things real quick before we get going. Right to Hakone? No way. Okay. Serve. It's not tubeless, I don't think, but um, yeah, let me, yeah, just uh, make sure that everything's cool because uh, I can't read the chat when I'm riding, right? So, <laughs> yes, you all own a percentage of the bike. Maybe we should, uh, Maybe we should issue some tokens. We can have like a blockchain token and you all own part of the bike. <laughs> okay. Let's go.
Hey, Melody. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit more upright than the other bike, but still not exactly. Top speed for electric bikes in Japan, I think that's supposed to be uh, 20 kilometers per hour. So after 20 kilometers per hour, it doesn't uh, actually assist you anymore, which is kind of one of the downsides of this bike actually. Because on my other bike, I could go a lot faster, uh, but this bike's a lot heavier. So when there's no assist, then it's uh, a little harder to a little harder to pedal. Whoa, that guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Shinjuku Gyoen on the left. That's where we were earlier. But now I'm just gonna ride around. I kind of want to check out a couple more places. But yeah, you can see here. This has different modes, so you can go sport, turbo, or just eco, or tour. So, uh, I think depending on which mode you choose, the assist is different. Interesting, so they used to have faster speeds, but then they limit it at some point. I really wish that I could get it unlimited because 20, up to 20 is nice, but I really would like to go a little faster than that. I feel like it could get a little dangerous if you're going too slow. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's true. I guess if I want to, if I want to register it, then I need to, I need to have it at 20 kilometers per, uh, per hour. I think maybe if it's, uh, if you unchip it or unregulate it or whatever, then maybe you lose the registration or something like that. And I think the registration actually comes with some insurance, so. But it's, it's plenty fast, like, especially for going up hills. So that way I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not huffing and puffing and we could actually go stream longer rides, uh, especially in hilly areas. Fungus USMC Super Shattered $10. If the electric man which are too slow, the next purchase will be a 50cc scooter. Starting the donation now long. Thanks, thanks, Fungus. Yeah, but maybe the next step is like a scooter or a motorbike. Something we can go further. Thank you, Fungus. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> oh, that thunder guy. Yeah, that thunder guy in the premiere yesterday was kind of crazy. Uh, 
I just wish it was a little bit more warm. Gotta get the gotta get the VJ car. No, even even in the the middle of summer, I'm still enjoying that because in the summertime, even if it's hot at nighttime, you can still ride around and it's really comfortable. I like see this guy in front of me. He has those really fat tires. Those ones can't fit inside the bike racks. So, like in a lot of places, you have to park on the side and sometimes it's not really allowed. So, these tires are as fat as I could go. Yeah. It's really good for running errands. Like, I want to get a crate on the back, like a milk crate or something. <laughs> And I can just put some, put my bag in there. I do have paneers already, but uh, I don't know. I'd rather have like a crate. It's just faster to put stuff in and out. What's a super cub? Is that like a baseball team? What? <laughs> what's a super cub? I think I'm gonna head towards uh, Yoyogi Park and then figure it out from there. I have a little bell. I don't have the basket on the front or the back though. Oh, Super Cub is a, a small motorcycle, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna get a motorcycle, might as well get like a bigger one. I wanna get a one. Is that the, um, is a Super Cub the one where it's kind of like you're sitting on just like a regular chair? I could go for one of those, one of those really big scooters. System, rainbow spoke lights for safety, Tron bike. Hey, hey thanks. <laughs> Glowing Tron bike, that would be so funny. <laughs> All right. Hey, Hawaiian, thanks for the gas money. I guess gas is like coffee or something to drink. <laughs> yeah. We need 
some safety streamers. I haven't seen a bike with streamers in such a long time, even the even kids' bikes. Maybe it's not cool anymore. Alright, I think this is the way for coffee. Suzuki e bike. I wonder if that's a real thing. But yeah, I do. You, do you know what the name is for those like Bosuzoku style uh, scooters? I would definitely be down for one of those. Maybe not like a low rider, but you know, one of those chill scooters. Uh, I have my actually have my motorcycle license in Japan, so uh, I even have the license for the bigger motorcycle. So I think I could probably ride up to like a thousand cc. So I was thinking about getting a motorcycle, but I don't have anywhere to park it. But that would definitely be fun if I ever moved and got a parking spot. Because I yeah like. In Asia, we have those big, those big, uh, those big scooters, right? Even up to 600 cc, and it's kind of like a cruising scooter. Sorry about that. I guess I'm using the Rakuten card. Maybe that one's not good for bike streams. I forget already, it's been so long. But yeah, we're going to Yoyogi Park here on the left. So hopefully everything is cool. Yeah, we're going in here. Oh, Honda Grom. That's nice. I think that would be fun in Tokyo. Yeah, with the e-bike we can go up those hills, no problem. Japan moto vlogging. Have you guys seen any live stream motorcycle rides? Next level dog walker. Can people walk dogs on a bike? I didn't know that was a thing. There's supposed to be some ume blossoms or kawazu zakura in here. So let's just ride around and check. Yeah, but wouldn't the dog get tired really, really fast? 
Okay, I need to go off road here. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Yeah, so this area is also where they have a lot of cherry blossoms. So it peak season. This area is so packed. Like all these trees here are uh, are cherry blossoms. But right now they're still empty, so. But it's still a little crowded. Race someone. Here we can race these people. Woohoo! Oh, there's some traffic ahead. Let's see. I think there should be some Kawazas up in here. But it might be in like the dead signal area, so in, just in case, let me know if it cuts out again. Yeah, we're in Yoyogi Park. What are these people doing? <laughs> Oh, I see them. Oh, no camera, uh, GoPro, this. Oh, it's crowded. All right, let me put my mask on. Lock up and then we'll go take a look. Yeah, it's sakura trees.
chưa kịp nói gì Is it still going? <laughs> Not sure if the signal is holding in there. Seems fine, right? Uh, I don't know why, but they blocked off this section here. It's kind of curious that they block this part off, but they don't block that part off. <laughs> okay, good signal. Cool. <laughs> Dang, there's so many cameras here. This is a Kawaza Kawazu Zakura. This is not the Umei tree, this is Kawazu Zakura, so this is the early blooming one, the same as the video that I posted today. Yeah, this is the wide angle, but not the widest. It's like second widest. <laughs> Uh, this is the GoPro 9. Yeah, I'm just gonna post all these pictures on my Instagram. Because it's uh, probably easier to see that way. Uh, can I switch to normal? I can try. Mm. Let me see. Here. 
stretched. Wait, did did it actually change the camera angle? Hold on. Yeah, it should have. Okay, so it should be on the non super wide now. Hopefully, that's better. Alright, let's go back in. Martin Plays Online became a member. Hey Martin, welcome to the sticker club. Sora became a member. Maybe we can go to the next place. This place is super crowded. Hey, Sora, welcome to the sticker club. I don't know why this area is blocked off. It's like exactly the same thing. I don't know why though. Actually, these are still not in exactly full bloom. There's still a lot of buds on the trees. So maybe in a couple more days. <laughs> Hey, that's a good idea. Wait, somebody said? Yeah, maybe they actually swap them every few days or every week. So that maybe people can take pictures with no people under the trees. I don't know. 
I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Seems reasonable. Alright, posting that last picture on Instagram. Alright. Oh, there's so many people around here. Actually, I'm gonna go pee real quick, so... Hold on, I'll be right back. There's a toilet right here. Just... That toilet's pretty cool. You can actually see the sakura while you're peeing. <laughs> I posted a picture in the Discord. <laughs> it's kind of creepy actually, that someone can pee and look outside at the same time. Hey, Cohen, what's up? I do have a ringer. Let's go to the next place. <laughs> I see, there is a bell. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was actually a lot more people and a lot more sakura than I thought it would be there. But yeah, I was enjoying the sakura while I peed. Hmm, this... No, the e-bike didn't come with a washlet actually, unfortunately. 
Maybe next next e-bike I'll get the washlet feature. And we don't need to take uh, toilet breaks. Who's playing? Someone's playing a fiddle. <laughs> no, actually, the um, I think Kawazu Zakara actually blooms before the ume blossoms, so or the plum blossoms. So, actually, I'm gonna go to a park that I know that they have a lot of plum blossoms. So, maybe we'll see if that. If that, uh, if the plum blossoms are ready or not. Alright. BOM 3RS super shattered $20, coffee break, smiley face, it's on us. Hey, boomers, thanks for the $20. Coffee break. Yeah, actually, I could go for a coffee right now. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Thank you, boomers. <laughs> Just wants me to take pee breaks. All right, let's go to get some coffee. Yeah, in the cold weather, I usually get sniffles, so... Sorry guys, if I keep sniffling. <laughs> Let's see the range of the bike, someone said. So actually we can see here. Let's check. So... Yeah, I think there's 68 kilometers left. Yeah, so there's like 68 kilometers left, which seems pretty far, right? And I think if I turn it down to eco mode, it'll actually let me go farther. Let's see, I have... there's, a, there's a coffee place that I haven't been for a long time. It's Shibuya to Harajuku. There's a, yeah, there's a coffee shop that I haven't gone to in a long time, so I'm gonna try and go there. It's kind of close, actually. Can I charge my gear? No, I don't think so. I think on maybe the newer models they have like a USB charging port, but not on this part. <laughs> Is 68 kilometers really enough to go all the way to Yokohama? Sumasen. That was close. Uh, I don't think it charges when I ride. It doesn't have like regenerative braking. You know, that guy was just like looking at his phone and I almost ran into him. Street is so bumpy. Right. Yeah, I, I keep using my voice because I'm not used to having a bell. That's right on the street. I think that's going to be safer. 
coffee. Yeah, there's a place called Streamers Coffee that I used to like, and I haven't been there in a long time, so yeah, let me go check that out. e-bike we did it guys yeah it's not a hub motor so there's no regenerative braking but I mean 68 kilometers is pretty far right I think there's a um, this is like a 300 watt hour battery so uh, I was reading that there's actually a 500 watt hour battery so maybe we can start another fundraiser at some point but not right now but uh, I think this battery is probably good enough for most things in Tokyo, but maybe if we want to try to do some other long ride project, maybe I can try to get the 500 watt battery and then we could have 800 watt hours. So uh, I guess that means we can go like 200 kilometers or something. That would be really far. I don't know if I can ride all that in one day though. いつも見てくれてありがとうございます。今日はちょっと寒いけど、あのもうちょっとどんどんどんどん寒くなってる。I don't think Streamers Coffee is owned by a Twitch streamer, but. Uh, not that I know of, at least. All right. Streamers coffee. Because we're live streaming. Seems suiting. I think it's just straight down this street. Hey, there's a lot of police here. What are they doing? Oh, there's a lot of people. I should put my mask on. Oh, they're like protesters. Should follow this lady. Oh, oh. <laughs> Who's this? Bro, I just want to go get some coffee. I think they're protesting Corona and vaccines. He's like a happy Trump. <laughs> like a happy anime Trump. No, it's uh, anti-vaccine, anti... Yeah, I think it's anti-vaccine people. Bro, I just want to get some coffee. Alright, it's almost over. Hey, they have like a, a Trump flag. I think they're specifically protesting vaccine for children. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, when I was in Sapporo, uh, after the stream, there was like a bunch of uh, like four Trump protesters outside of uh, Sapporo station. I didn't know that there was like Trump supporters in Japan. That's kind of crazy. I didn't even know that they cared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. First world problems. Yeah. True that. All right. Let's go to the coffee place. Kankoku mecha ikitai yo. Dustin Hall super chatted nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I think the GoPro just turned off. Yeah, it'll take some time to get used to this uh, setup again. Yeah, maybe I can get that big antenna now. Yes, Dustin Hall. Sorry if I missed your donation. Thank you so much for the 20. Space. 
There we go. Sorry, it's been so long since I used this setup. I uh, plugged the wrong USB into the GoPro. So it ran out of batteries because it wasn't charging fast enough. So hopefully this changes it. Um, but yeah, actually the coffee place is right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna park the bike. And then, oh, it's actually pretty busy. Yeah, sorry, just a second. I'm just uh, parking the bike. I'm gonna go into the coffee shop. Please fall.
All right. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and then I'll come back to the bike. Yeah, so this is streamers. Ah, you can smell it from there. Ah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Ah, thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's not cheap, but uh, yeah, it's good though. Uh. Yeah, there used to be uh, a streamers nearby where I lived, uh, underneath the train tracks, but they closed. It was a really bad location. Uh. Uh, I just regular Americano, so it's whatever their espresso blend is. Yeah, it's like six dollars just for this small Americano. Hmm. I think it's more expensive than Starbucks, right? <sighs> Sympathetic coffee rush. Yeah. I'm definitely warming me up. It's like getting cloudy, so it's getting a little cold. But yeah, this place is good. It's just a little expensive. I need to get a little cup holder for the handlebars so I can put my coffee in like this. Then I can just ride around with the coffee inside. Yeah, hologram. It wasn't very chill, but it was really cool. Like it was a, uh, it was like a two-story coffee shop, and uh, yeah. I mean, you couldn't really hear the train from inside, but it was kind of cool. Hmm. Seven Eleven coffee is actually pretty good. So, 
Yeah, if I wasn't, if this wasn't close, I'd probably go get that instead. Yes, break time. Hey Yuki, are you uh, are you going to go see Kawazu Zakura next week? Are you staying overnight? <laughs> That's right, Melody. I mean, I have a I have a cap, right? Like some places they have a little a little plug. Yeah, Joseph, I, I hear you there. But it's like, uh, you know, it's been so long since I went to go to a coffee shop. I've been drinking coffee at home for a long time, so I've been saving a lot of money. It's good. Uh, are foreign people allowed to settle in Japan? Yeah, of course. You just need to get a visa and you need to, I don't know, pay taxes for a while and then you can get a permanent visa hmm yeah maybe I do need to get one of those thermal cups then it has like a little a little lid so like even if it's bumping around it won't fall out and I can just fill it up when I'm at home Yes, I will bring the thermos next time. I do have one, so it's a good tip, guys. <sighs> the little swimmers. <laughs> A cat in a front basket just for streaming. <laughs> Can you imagine riding around with a, a little beer hat just for coffee? <laughs> Are those Starbucks machines at work good though? Is it taste exactly the same as the uh, Starbucks? Yeah, so the plan right now is after the coffee, there's one more park that I want to check out that's um, that's uh, kind of by Shimokitazawa. You guys know where that is? It's like a really popular place for young people and foreigners. Uh, a lot of foreigners live there. It's like a really good location because it's like uh, Shinjuku is on the north and then Shibuya is on the south. So. Uh, Shimokitazawa is right in the crossroad of it, so if you want to go to either place, it's a really good location. If I had a bra koozie boomers, wouldn't my wouldn't just burn my chest? The coffee's too hot. Oh, the hobo cooking stream. Yeah, I uh, I had the big I had the big stove last time for the ramen, so I actually bought like a little cooking stove. So I'm I'm making plans still. Uh, but yeah, I got I got a little tiny stove that uses the canned gas, so... Yes, I'm working up to it though. Uh, any new plans for the channel? Um, yeah, I'm working with uh, Blubba, if you're still here, uh, to make some merch. I ordered some samples. And then once I get the samples confirmed, then I'll be releasing the first merch that's like a collab with me and Blubba. So I'll probably give him like half of the proceeds or whatever. So yeah, look forward to that. <clears throat> uh, 
I could do bike tours on Airbnb. Hmm, that's a good idea. I'll think about it. Yeah, maybe in the summertime only though, because I'm not really good at riding in the winter time. <sighs> but yeah, Blubba is really good at drawing. Um, I, I was actually surprised with what he sent me. It's really good. So, yeah, I think you guys will like it. It's uh, pretty, pretty exciting. So, um, but yeah, actually, if any of you, if any of other of you are artists or just like to draw, you can just uh, DM me any designs that you think would be cool. And yeah, you can like, we can put it together and I'll order some samples. And then if it's good, we can post it up. Keychain with channel logo. Okay, that's a good one. Right now, I have um, I have two different types of T-shirts, and then one sticker. Oh, nice, Blubba. Mmm, Sakura clothing. Hey, Melody, that's an awesome idea. Let me think about that. Hmm, that's a good idea, Melody. Thank you for the coffee, guys. Uh, boomers, I think. Yes, thank you for the coffee. Definitely feel warmed up now. So, I'm gonna throw this away and then let's get going. Yes, warmed up and ready to ride. Martin plays online super chatted $35.83. Just a little something for you adventure, smiley face. Hey, Martin plays online. Thank you for the 50 Australian. Thank you so much for the adventure. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, our funds for more adventures is going to be pretty buffed up. So I think during the summer, I'm more active so we can do more stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Let me... Let me... Uh, let me... Put my... Okay, let me just get the directions going because I don't want to get lost. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yo! Alright. Ah, that coffee really warmed me up. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, it's getting a little chilly because uh, it's all cloudy now.
Old West style. You don't like black coffee? Sometimes I like cream and sugar, but uh, yeah, sometimes I don't know. The sugar is a little too much for me sometimes. All right. Um, sorry, I lost the directions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh no, it's these protester people again. spices. Is that like cinnamon or nutmeg or like what, what are Arabic spices? Sounds good. Whoa. Look at that dog. That dog's haircut is so crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Its hair is so big. That's cool. Try that uh, the black coffee with the Arabic spices. It sounds really good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was the same people doing the march for the uh, the no child vaccines. the TTS server back on so I can hear you in my ear so sorry that's some that's why it's sometimes it's like awkward when I'm talking because when I'm talking I'm hearing you guys in my ear They were protesting uh, child vaccines. I think there's probably some people protesting uh, the Russian Ukraine stuff, maybe in central Shibuya. Yeah, 
this is Harajuku and then this is the park on the right side that we were just inside and I guess they have some concert at this uh, place here on the left yeah look guys I got a row just for myself Yeah, one thing I actually like about this bike too is that I don't know how they did it, but uh, usually, you know, when you're riding your bike and you stop pedaling, it makes like a ticking noise. Like, tick, 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 tick. Yeah, for some reason, this doesn't make that sound. And that's actually something that I really wanted because if I'm like filming a video on the bike and I'm just going through a quiet area, I don't really want people to hear the sound of the bike. Uh, so you can just instead hear just the ambient noise. So. Yeah, that was like a present supply uh, surprise actually. Uh, it's not so good because um, when I'm riding on the sidewalk, people can't really hear me coming, but I guess that's what the bell's for, right? So now, let's see, it's gonna be like 11 minutes. So I think we just have to go straight. Yeah, but like even on non e bikes, I think they have uh, special hubs that I was looking into. So even for road bikes, you can get these special mountain biking hubs where when you're coasting, it doesn't have that clicking noise. But I was actually surprised to find that uh, some people really like that clicking noise and they try to make it even louder because it sounds like it's a more expensive bike. But I never understood why that clicking noise makes it, uh, makes it better. Maybe it's like something high-end racing bikes have, I don't know. See if I can. Like a Curry Super Chat is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Hey VJ, thank you for the live today. Hey Rika, thanks for the ten dollars. Glad to see you here. Yeah, I know you wanted to see the Sakura, so hopefully you saw yesterday's video. But uh, there will be more videos of Sakura soon, so please look forward to that. But yeah, thank you so much. ASMR for bikes. This is like the backside of Yoyogi. Uh, the bike can't go without uh, pedaling. That's actually one of the rules in Japan is that if you're going to have an e-bike, it has to be assisted, it can't be self-propelled. So yeah, you need to be pedaling in order for the e-bike to engage. Oh yikes, you just got back from awake. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Hopefully everything's okay.
Yeah, well, with the e-bike, uh, I'm not huffing and puffing like I usually am. And like, I don't know, recently, after the past couple years, I feel like I'm getting uh, out of shape. So yeah, even just walking, I'm huffing and puffing, which is really terrible. But yeah, with the e-bike, not so much, so. So this is Tokyo, it's a lot of sun. The e-bike was really good. Yeah, getting old, getting out of shape, man, kind of sucks, but I think once it gets a little warmer, I'm going to start running more often, so hopefully my cardio can pick up again. It'll probably just take longer than it used to, but uh, we'll see. <sighs> Running lives, I thought about that, but it's going to be so shaky. It's not even going to be watchable. And you're just going to hear me breathing heavy even more. I think, uh, I think these past couple years have been rough for everybody's fitness. So, yeah, I can't wait to, to go running without a mask and everything, so... <laughs> Running ASMR, heavy breathing. That's some, uh, I don't know. Four more minutes, so we're almost there. Ah, honto, ame furi so ne. Demo, ayaya, ame ga yada. Hey, what's this? What is this? It's a Turkish center of culture. Cool.
let's see, I think down one of these streets. <laughs> Only fans. Speaking of OnlyFans, I actually, uh, in the Niseko video that I took, I did take a section of uh, inside of the onsen because it was, uh, it was totally empty. So I did take a small video in there. So okay, so that's it. Hey, what happened? That wasn't the right street. Maybe this street. Bokumo ame ga tsuki kedo ima janai. Natsu de wa ii kedo ima janai. Okay. Only fans nude bike ride. I don't think that's allowed outside. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I have the the Niseko video ready actually, so maybe sometime this week or maybe next weekend. I haven't decided yet. And how does the nude bike riding even work? Like, isn't your your junk all exposed to the seat? And if you're a girl, isn't that even more problematic? <laughs> I feel like a put like wearing pants is a must-have for riding a bike, right? Don't worry, nobody's nobody's gonna be naked in the stream though. Okay, so we're in Shimokitazawa now, but I need to get past here. Alright, I think I took a wrong turn. This way. I think this is the almost at the downtown or the main part of Shimokitazawa.
How is it naked if they're wearing underwear? Oh, don't worry. I'm reading it. I'm hearing every word. <laughs> Still talking about the naked bike rides? <laughs> All right. Yeah, this in this area, people really like thrifting clothes, so they're pretty stylish. Kind of in the back part of Shimokitazawa. Now I gotta just find this park that I'm trying to go to. Let me stop for a second. Yeah, it's pretty crowded back there, but uh, I think from now on it should be pretty chill. Yeah, so this back area is where they used to have uh, the train tracks above ground. But then they had moved it underground. Oops. Wrong turn. So with this battery, I think I can go, depending on the mode that I'm using, it would be uh, on this, this like middle mode, it was like 60 something or 70 kilometers. And then uh, if I'm using the eco mode, it's like a hundred kilometers or so. Yeah, fungus you know. So there is actually this like shopping center on the left, but I'm actually not able to uh, I'm not able to ride through that area, so I just took the side street instead. But we can look at the new shopping area from the back. Let's see if I can find a good street to go in there. Nope. Yeah, they have like a new shopping and kind of a chill dining area. They have little shops. Some of them are like Taiwan food, Taiwanese food. Or like small izakayas. Maybe this way. Esmeralda. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, this area over here is starting to get kind of popular. Let me see if I can... Oh, what the heck? There's a streamer's coffee here too. Yeah, the new bike is great. Yeah, so this place on the right side, this is like a new onsen place. I don't, I don't know how much it costs though, but it looks kind of expensive. Yeah, this is the new shopping center. All right. I guess you can ride bikes back here. Yeah, last night's premiere was uh, during the night time here, which is not the normal schedule. So there's like a whole bunch of new people in there. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for donating for the e-bike. So this is the... This is the new dining area. So like all these like kind of like shipping container buildings are little restaurants or shops. <laughs> Still talking about the uh, the bike shop. Oh, hey, they had owls. But yeah, that area back there used to be like the old train tracks. And then uh, recently they converted it into that kind of a little izakaya hallway. <laughs> Bro, you guys get to give, give up on the bike shop lady. <laughs> Yeah, maybe next time I'm out there, we can go see if they're there. Oh. It's like a fancy restaurant. And then each meal is like 50 to $80. They even have sets at nighttime for like 100 to $150. So. But yeah, I think it's actually like a hotel. Interesting that they have this onsen hotel like right in the middle of uh, the city area <laughs> or this residential area. Hey man, no one's changing the subject. We were talking about that onsen place. <laughs> All right. I think the park is straight down this way. Oh uh, yeah, there's also that onsen hotel in Tachigawa that we never went to. Yeah, too bad that uh, that guy never came back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah guys, why are you bullying on me, man? Come on, guys. What is that guy doing? Have I been to Hokkaido? Yeah, I was just there like a couple weeks ago. I think the park is up here on the right hand side. At least that's what my map says. Oh yeah, here it is. We are at Hanegi Park. It's near Shimokitazawa. This park is known for um, having ume blossoms. So like these plum trees that bloom later than Kawazu Sakura, but earlier than the normal uh, Sakura trees. So I filmed the video here last year, but uh, Seems like it's not quite ready yet. No, we're not by Tokyo Tower. Ride to Yokohama. It's so far. <laughs> Maybe from here. All right. <laughs> Do you think we can make it all the way to Yokohama with this battery? I don't know if it's enough battery. <laughs> My secret girlfriend. <laughs> all right. Let's test it. Yeah, I guess we can because uh, I just need to get the bike bag. So in the case that I don't make it all the way, then I can just put the bike in the bag and then just take it on the train. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, so the bike can go, I think, like a hundred kilometers on eco mode, and then maybe like seventy kilometers with like a with like a regular mode, it's like about 60 kilometers. <laughs> Yokohama's 30 kilometers, okay. Yeah, actually I was thinking about that cursed ramen stream like uh, I thought that at the bike shop wasn't the wasn't the guy and the girl that were running the shop weren't they married 
That would that would be so awkward if they knew what you were talking about. Let's see. Wow, this one looks like some of them are already dead. Yeah, I posted some of the some more of these uh pictures in the Instagram, so Instagram stories. Yeah, these are ume trees. <laughs> yeah, if they ever did see the stream, that would be really awkward. I actually have a like a screen reader, so I'll, actually while I'm biking, I can hear you guys uh, hear what you're saying. Yeah, I think I'll come back here later, um, sometime early morning, and take a video on a sunny day. We are near Shimokitazawa. This is a park called uh, Hanegi Koen. So this park is famous for these ume trees. They're not fully bloom yet, but they're kind of like bloom between Kawazu Sakura and normal Sakura. Uh, so yeah, there's tons of different tons of different colors around here for these plum blossoms. ちょっと寒いけど、この公園が結構綺麗。でも多分来週ぐらいになるかもしれない。Some of these actually look already dead. Am I wrong and full bloom is already over? Or maybe they just bloom at different times? We're in Hanegi Koen, so it's near Shimokitazawa. These are plum trees. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Raika. I did make umeshi this year, so maybe during the cooking stream we can do one underneath the sakura and uh, we can have some of the uh, some of the umeshi that I made and you can um, yeah like some of them are still buds but other them are already dead and actually I think my channel just got approved for um, making clips. So any of the live streams, you guys can clip certain sections of the video and uh, you can see the, the little clips. I don't know how they get produced though, like where do they get posted? I have no idea, but I think even for this stream, there's like a little scissors icon on the chat.
For example, look at this one. They're like little buds still. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. Like some of them are already bloomed, some of them are still budded. So, yeah, I guess it's not perfect every year. Theviesta 2 became a member. Hey, welcome to the membership. Oh, Hawaiian, so it goes onto the main page, okay. I haven't actually tried it yet, so I'll have a look later. Oh yeah, so these are the ones, they like plant them on different anniversaries. This one is really blooming, this red one. Yeah, I wish it was more sunny though. But uh, I'll make sure that when I take a full video of this, it'll be sunny. I think that'll make it really nice. Yeah, some of these look like they're already on like the tail end of being bloomed. I like this one, it's kind of like weeping, kind of like sagging. Hey Brandon. No, I'm using the GoPro setup, so this camera is the GoPro. Let's see, Blub has been watching K dramas. Half expecting to hear Korean. What are you watching, Blubba? I had a K drama phase like a few years ago, but haven't really seen any in a while.
Yeah, I'm having like the hardest time deciding if it's full bloom or it's past full bloom. Sad kura. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many plum trees here but yeah it's a little mixed right like uh, some dead some not yet bloomed Once again. No, I'd never seen that one. Yeah, Blubba, have you seen that one called Gentleman's Dignity? I think that one was pretty funny. I think it's on Netflix. Hey, Henry. Sorry, I'm just catching up because um, when I'm on the bike, I don't know who's saying what. I think around here there was like some place where they said you can see Mount Fuji, but I think it's not a clear enough day to see Fuji. Here you can see like a Mount Fuji on a clear day, but maybe not today. I don't see it. These are the two buildings, right? This white one and this brown one. Dylan Long super chatted five dollars, push someone weak looking. Hey Dylan, thanks for the five. I'm not gonna push anybody, what are you talking about? <laughs> thanks for the five though. Konnichiwa. Yeah, you bullies. Yeah, I think it would look even nicer if it uh, if it was really sunny today.
ちょっと戻っちゃう。<笑> yeah, not you, Martin. Yeah, you guys can push me. That's cool. <laughs> oh, this one looks nice. I like this. It's like white with、uh, the middle is like a pink part. How my kids look less fun for the next day. My head is bigger, so you look small. I think these are my favorite ones. Baby pig? Where? No, you guys are good. I'm all, I'm chilling. Yeah, Dimitri, I still have that.、Uh, I still have the,、uh, the big camera set up, but yeah, maybe not today. I'll try it again another day. Yeah, because the big camera setup is using my main camera that I use to shoot the regular videos. But、uh, of course, the GoPro is not as good quality. But the problem is, it's just so heavy. So I can't even go into a store with that setup. Like, I can't walk around. It's like, it's like a big thing on my chest. So it's like the huge camera just swinging around. <laughs> so. All right, I think that's the end of this park. Now I'm just walking in circles. All right, let's go back to the bike. We can go ride around some more. Yeah, dogs are like little kids in Japan. They even have like strollers and、uh, clothes. I, I think there's some other ones on the other side of the park, so we'll get on the bike and we'll go to the other side.
Yeah, actually, the other day I saw this. Um, I saw these uh, at a pet store. They had uh, these strollers outside. Yeah, so this is like some strollers I saw at the store the other day. It's like $300 just for this stroller for dogs. And then you can get this one for like $270 or like $170. But yeah, like dog strollers are pretty. Uh, pretty popular these days. Who's looking at yucky emo? Oh, yucky emo. Yeah, right? I think dog strollers and dog clothes is a big business in Japan. Dang, Melody, 400. I mean, I guess, so I guess Melody, people do have these strollers in America, right? But I think they're just everywhere in Japan. That is a good question. What, what is the difference between the dog stroller and a human stroller? Is it like, is it like the dog one doesn't have the straps and everything? Okay, I want to go to the other side of this park. Hey, Fatima. Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense for small dogs, right? Because it takes more energy to walk really far. I think they even have like little little things you can put on your bike. You can put the the dogs in the bike. Uh, I'm pedaling a little bit. Oh, in the beginning, I forgot to turn it on, and this bike is really heavy. But uh, yeah, it's working now. So. <laughs> hey, 
Wait, what? I didn't know that baby strollers have expiration dates. Why is that? Is there like some perishable items inside the, the baby stroller? Oh, there we go. Someone answered it. <laughs> oh, so like the foam protecting the baby, just like the foam protecting your head in a helmet, kind of dies. Like, a, like it, if you get into an impact, it will like not be as effective, I guess. That makes sense. Hey look, these people have rabbits. All right. Let's see. All right, I guess I'll just ride back into town. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of a longer ride because why not, right? We have the e-bike now. So I guess from here, I'm going to try to go to um, nearby Tokyo Tower. I think there's also some ume blossoms there just to continue the, the plum blossom tour. Teriyakisaurus Rex became a member. Hey, welcome to the membership. Let's see, what time is it? It's 3.30 in Japan. Yeah, it's real 3.30. Brazil, what's up? Good morning. Or good night? Yeah, this area around Shimokitazawa has a lot of these narrow alleyway kind of places.
whose Ferrari was that? Now this is not your yogi. We were at uh, Shimokitazawa area, checking out uh, ume ume trees or plum trees, and now we're headed back towards the middle of town. So like back towards uh, Shibuya. Can I do a wheelie? Yeah, no way. This bike is too heavy. I don't think I could even do a wheelie on my other bike. Shimokitazawa back there, but uh, this road goes back to like a Yoyogi. Yeah, I'm just chilling, enjoying the, the ride. I enjoy listening to you guys talking about the dogs. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, there's that uh, the mosque up there on the right side. I never knew that they had something like that in Tokyo. It's pretty cool. Look at it. It's so cool looking. I wonder if you can go inside it. Maybe next time I'll, I'll look it up online and see if we can go inside. Yeah, you should get a new bike. It's really nice. Can I ride it sitting on a trunk? What do you mean? I mean, like, can somebody else ride on it too? I don't know about that. Yeah, it definitely makes riding up and down the hills or up the hills really easy. Yeah, actually, there was like another company that reached out to me to test drive their e-bike. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. It's kind of similar to this bike, but the tires are fatter. So uh, we'll see what they want to do. And then uh, maybe we'll do another e-bike stream with a different bike. Yeah, I think they might send me the send me the bike and then I would just review it on the stream and then I don't know it wasn't clear if I would send it back but I don't I don't know like I don't know what I would do with the bike afterwards though Yeah, I think you can convert uh, bikes with those aftermarket kits, but I'm not really, not really so handy, so I don't know if I would want to screw up my other bike. Yeah, it was like a, it was a fat tire bike that they wanted me to review. I guess it could be cool to have a backup bike, but I don't know where I would store it. Like I said, those fat tires, they can't fit in the, a lot of the normal bike parking spots, so I don't know how I would park it. kilometers per hour that's crazy 
Yeah, I was complaining earlier that the max uh, the max you can do on this is 20 kilometers powered. But I'm sure if you convert it yourself, you can do 50 like you mentioned, but that sounds awesome. One hundred kilometers per hour? That's crazy. I, I can't even imagine going fifty. <laughs> Isn't like a hundred kilometers per hour even faster than uh, on the freeway? Actually, I wonder this this motor. I wonder what the actual top speed is, like without the uh, software limiter. Man, yeah, I should do another cooking stream soon. Like I said, I bought the, the new stove, so yeah. Oh, Joseph, you like the riding more? Is it because there's no bobbing or things just move faster? This motor is, I don't know what the wattage is, but maybe you can check it online. The motor is the, uh, the Bosch Active Line Plus. I think there's just like an Active Line and then there's a performance motor, but this is the one in the middle, the Active Line Plus, so whatever that is. Okay, so yeah, I guess the yeah with the bike streams you do get to see a lot more But Yeah, I guess the quality is not as good, but maybe that doesn't matter
Alright, let me see where we are. So we still have this way to go. Yeah, I do have the the big camera set up for the chest mount, so I will try that one night because this bike is a little more upright compared to the previous bike, so it'll for sure be a lot easier to ride with that big mount, so yeah, we can give it a try. But I imagine in some countries, they don't have the same software limitations that they do in Japan or like speed limitations for e-bikes so I have to look into it oh what is this event here there's like some big event here at this concert hall I can't really see what it is, but I'm surprised they're having a concert. Whoa! Dang. Whose pink Lamborghini was that? David, was that yours? Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Pepto Bismol Lamborghini. Cruiser cycle. I think the, the recorded GoPro quality is better than this live stream, of course, but yeah, live stream quality even from phones is going to be not as good as the recorded stuff. Actually, it wasn't so smelly. The wind was blowing, so we're all good.
helmet mount. That would be kind of nuts, right? Like a DSLR on a helmet. I don't know if that's gonna work right. Yeah, this is a, uh, we were in Harajuku. This is now Mote Sando. Daikon Yama is actually in the opposite direction, so this street we're going on, we're gonna go through like Aoyama, then we'll go through Dopongi, and then we should go through. I don't know, but I think uh, we will eventually end up at Tokyo Tower, and I think there's some ume trees there. I don't know, I, I really don't like that in Japan you're allowed to stop in the bike lane or like just camp out there or whatever because it's really dangerous for people who are riding bikes. Hey, they changed it. Like over here where that Cartier thing is, they used to have uh, like a staircase thing where you can kind of chill there. Now it's gone. What's an allergy helmet? Is it like a motorcycle helmet with like more uh, more filters for your nose? Or is it is the allergy helmet kind of like, yeah, like a gas mask where it's like a mask covering your face and those huge filters on the sides of your mouth? We 
should turn here. Go, go, go. Oh nice, we're riding through the cemetery. That's actually where they have a lot of nice sakura as well. So I'll probably go back there sometime in uh, the middle of, uh, or maybe the end of this month. Yeah, here's not the blue line. They just have the little bike symbol with the little arrows. Hey look, here's some plum blossoms on the left side. Is the bike waterproof? I don't know. I don't really want to find out if the bike is uh, waterproof or not. I imagine it could take maybe some light rain, but definitely not getting soaked. Yeah, we're getting... this is definitely a wealthy area. We're almost to Ropongi, but Aoyama's where a lot of rich people live too. Uh, yeah, Hawaiian, I'm doing good actually, because the e-bike is taking care of all the work. I'm kind of just pedaling a little bit and uh, it's just kind of taking me. Which is nice. But I think once we get to the park, I'll probably have a drink and then uh, head back. I don't know how to interact with this tunnel. I guess I can't go through it on my bike. Hey, that lady's riding it in there. Well, maybe I can do that too. Let's go. No? Maybe we're not supposed to ride in there. Oh, the thing on the left? I think I, I think it can uh, stand up to rain. No, this is not the right way. There's stairs there. All right, maybe maybe it was the other side. All right, let's let's turn around. I'm lost now. Yeah, I don't know if that guy was honking at me or for, or at that lady. But uh, I don't see any signs that say no bikes. I think the other side has uh, a bike way to go up. Yeah, it was a little awkward. That lady was looking at me like, what are you doing over here? Yeah, I should be able to ride through there, right? Actually, it does tell me to go up and to the right, so... I'll give it a shot. Oh, okay, this is definitely okay. There's other bikes here.
Yeah, I think it's a really short tunnel. Just looked a little scary. It's windy. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass Mori Tower. Oh, dead bird. So yeah, this is uh, Ropongi now. Is it snow? That white stuff back there was a smashed bird. <laughs> Dang, this guy in his tiger jacket. Pimpin, pimpin, pimpin. Yeah, I don't know, it makes it really easy to stream for a longer time with this e-bike, so... Maybe too easy. <laughs> no, we're headed to Tokyo Tower. See it there in the distance?
Yeah, I thought we'd pass Mori Tower, but I guess not. I really don't like that you can park in the bike lane because then, yeah, I have to go out into the main street. So. <laughs> Another three hours. Damn, that would be such a long stream all the way to Ueno. Maybe we'll do a marathon stream uh, on a day when it's like full sakura blooming, so that would be nice. Especially if it's warm outside. Right now it's getting a little cold. Oh, well, no, I was thinking, man, there's a lot of police here, but it's because the, uh, the Russian embassy is up there. But I was going to say it's because of what's happening, but there's always police outside the Russian embassy, so... Um, but I think maybe this is a little more than normal. Thanks for watching Hawaiian and always helping out with the modding and everything. You guys are great. Yeah, it's Tokyo Tower. So I'm gonna head there. We'll go to the base. We'll check out some flowers and then I'll probably wrap it up from there. But don't worry guys, this time this bike has a light in it. So if I'm there at nighttime again, I won't be stopped by the police. So <laughs> it's all good. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, Joseph. I'll try to make sure it's on a Friday or Saturday. Let's go. Yeah, because last time my front light, when I was around Tokyo Tower doing a live stream, my battery died on my light, so the police stopped me because <laughs> I didn't have a light. But thankfully this is an e-bike, so now it has a, a built-in light, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not for me to see, it's for other people to see me. So. Hey look, Power Ranger protester. No, no, no. Why was they wearing a Power Rangers costume? That's so weird. Uh oh. Let's cross the street. I guess we can't. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was thinking about getting a rear view mirror just like right here, the one that like, it just sticks out a little bit. so tall. Hey, what are they making here? Maybe like some kind of observation deck or like a parking structure? Ah, すみません。すみません。すみません。すみません。ありがとうございます。これ何作ってますかモデルルーム。ああ、ありがとうございます。I think he said they're making a motel room here. <laughs> yeah, he said, don't go in there. <laughs> but they were nice about it. Yeah, they said they're making a motel. We can stop here. There we go. Yeah, I always get scolded here. I don't know why. <laughs> I think he said motel, moteru, right? Or did he say moru? Maybe you guys are right. <laughs> Tokyo Tower most wanted list. Dang. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? It's a uh, baby, baby Strider races. What the heck? Nani kore? Oh, cool. My choice super chat it's is like uh, those baby striders. They're gonna have like a. Hi, your channel's been one of my here. favorite ones on YouTube for quite a while and finally made me decide to visit Japan for the first time in May this year. Hey, Mike Choi, thanks for the $20. Hey, you finally made it to Japan? of May this year. Hey, awesome. Thanks, Mike. Hope you had a good time or we'll, I hope you do have a good time when you're here. Can you bet on them? Make sure my mask is on. Oh, cool, they're gonna race. They're just, it's kind of cute, they're announcing the racers' names. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Oh, he's so fast! Whoa. Go, go, go! Oh! Almost crashed! Oh! Dang, that little girl's going so fast. Oh. 
Race them with the e-bike. That's so awesome. Some of them even have like a little race helmets. Alright, let's watch one more. I wonder if they ever crash. It looks kind of dangerous. All right, they're getting ready. It's also cool that this is just like right underneath Tokyo Tower. Whoa, there's so many of them. This is like the pro league. Whoa. Cool. Cool. All right, let's go to the to the last of the plum blossom park. That kid that was lost in the in the final race looked almost like he was gonna cry. It was a little sad. I would cry probably. Adult Strider event? That would be really awesome actually. Somebody should start that. <laughs> Adult Strider races?
<laughs> they probably could get to Yokohama faster than me. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be Shiba Koen. So yeah, the the plum blossoms are on the other side, so. Yeah, especially in that last round, those kids were so fast. They had like the full motorcycle, motocross helmets. And it was kind of cute, like on the back of the helmet. In Japan, they have these like little lucky charms. And uh, they had them tied to the back of their helmets for good luck. It's pretty cool. I would actually love to see the <laughs> adult version of that. It would be really hilarious. Yeah, you guys, it's the SIM card. It ran out of data. So, I'm just on my phone now. So. Just these lost a little bit and then. Yeah, 
iPhone app is not so good. But uh, yeah, we got But I'm begging you still in my 